The Archaeological Museum of Como is in Piazza Medaglia d'Oro. It is known as Museo Giovio from the name of the palace that holds it, the ancient residence of the Giovio Counts. The exhibition includes archaeological materials found in the area of Como and covers a time range beginning with the first appearance of man in these valleys and the medieval era. Room 2 holds the most ancient archaeological finds, dated back to the Paleolithic and Mesolithic ages. It is mostly hunting and vegetable gathering artifacts. Room 3 shows the following stage when the erratic search for food was substituted by farming. It is the beginning of the Neolithic age. During this time, polished sewn tools and tableware were made. The pottery found in La Gozza di Besnate with its typical dark mixture is particularly interesting. The holes were made to insert strings and hang the containers out of animals' reach. The fourth room shows the development of metallurgy, dated to the 14th century BC. The first two showcases hold weapons and other objects obtained by casting. The third showcase instead holds some urns for the ashes of the dead and some grave goods. The following rooms recount the advent of the Iron Age and include objects found mostly in the Gola Seca site, one of the most important Italian prehistoric sites. The Grandate tomb, shown in room 9, is quite significant. The grave goods include a necklace made with pork bones, probably an amulet. Room 14 holds a silver coin, proof of commercial trade with the Celtic world beyond the Alps. It is the only coin of the time found north of the Apennini Mountains. In room 15 is the so-called wagon tomb. The presence of a wagon among the grave goods hints to a significant role played by the deceased in the society of the time, possibly a prince. The final important find in the prehistoric section is the Pristino stone, a block of sandstone with an inscription. It is the main document acknowledging the Liponsia language, a Celtic dialect from the 5th century BC. The Roman section shows the artistic and cultural flourishing that occurred in Como under the Roman domain. The apex was between the 1st century BC and the 1st century AC, when Plinio the Young and Plinio the Old, among the most significant personalities of the Classic Age, were born in Como. The prestige of Como is proven by the architectural elements and decorations that are exhibited, like the monumental one showing a parade of horsemen. A reconstruction of a four meter deep excavation shows the successive archaeological stratification present in the Como area subsoil. There are numerous relics from everyday life. Each showcase is related to a particular section. Military organization, religion, trading, production activities, personal hygiene, medicine, amusement, and the worship of the dead. The exhibition ends with the tablet section, which includes 82 epigraphical finds, selected among the more than 300 held by Museo Giovio.